My customer mailed me this hard drive and he said he dropped it and it started making this clicking sound. He has over three terabytes of pictures and videos on here, so let's see what we can do. We'll need to transfer a good pair of reading heads from this donor drive into my customer's drive. So let's open my customer's hard drive in a dust-free chamber and see this little metal thing. This little metal thing is a head comb that keeps the reading heads in its natural position so we can safely transfer them to another drive. Next, we need to analyze all of the reading heads under a microscope. If we see any damage or dust on the original heads, then we know that it scratched the platters and we'll need to take a totally different approach to recover the data. In this case, all of the reading heads look clean, so let's continue. Let's remove the good pair of reading heads from the donor drive and install it into the patient. Next, we can't work with this hard drive through the USB port, so we have to convert the PCB to SATA by soldering the four data lines, power, and ground. Let's fire this thing up and now we can see that the hard drive is locked and we can't work with this hard drive unless we unlock it. This particular hard drive is locked within the ROMs firmware. So let's read the ROMs firmware and save it to the computer and then we can unlock the ROM in the PC3000 software. Then we can write the unlocked ROM back onto the PCB. Now let's fire this thing up and we can see that the drive is no longer locked. Let's back up the service area and check for any firmware damage. Let's open data extractor and boom we can see all of his files. Let's image the drive and his data is saved. If you need something recovered, the link's in the bio. Peace.